One man was shot, a nine-year-old boy was grazed with glass and another man who was firing a gun was taken into custody after police fired shots at him on the west side Thursday evening. As of about 7.30 p.m., officials were not sure if the man shot was wounded by police or by the suspect who police took into custody. The incident happened about 5 p.m. at Madison Street and Keeler Avenue, according to officials. Two police officers were in their car traveling west on Madison when they saw a gunman firing shots near Keeler, said Al Nagoda, deputy chief of patrol for Area North as he spoke to reporters on the scene after the incident. The officers told him to drop his gun and when he kept shooting, one of the two officers fired their weapon at the man but did not strike him, Nagoda said. The gunman hid under a car as officers took cover and engaged him, said police. The subject was actively discharging his weapon. After given verbal direction continued to shoot, forcing the officer to utilize his weapon to mitigate the circumstances, Nagoda said. He was eventually taken into custody after he dropped his gun. During the incident another man, in his late 20s, was shot, but it was not clear yet if the suspect police arrested shot him or if police did. We're not sure yet, said Independent Police Review Authority spokeswoman Mia Sisak. Pod cameras should help with the timeline, said Guglielmi. Based on the information we have now, we are treating this as a police-involved shooting with no hits. The manshot was listed in serious condition at Mount Sinai Hospital said Chicago Fire Department spokesman Larry Langford. Also during the incident, a nine-year-old boy who was nearby in a car on Keeler was grazed with glass that shattered from gunfire, according to police. Thank God the boy is okay, Sisak said. He was sitting in his car minding his own business. The boy was treated on the scene and released, said Nagoda. Police recovered two guns at the scene. No police officers were injured, Guglielmi said. Madison Street was closed from Pulaski Road to Costner Avenue and some side streets in the area have also been blocked by police. Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin was on his way home from his downtown office when staff told him of the incident and he headed that way. A police official on the scene told Boykin a shootout erupted between two men near a food mart during which two children were injured by shattered glass. Police officers responded and fired shots, Boykin said. It's ridiculous, Boykin said. A number of communities in Chicago are living under a virtual state of emergency, this being one of them. This community has been devastated by gun violence. A large cluster of police officers, some carrying rifles, assembled at the intersection of Madison Street and Keeler Avenue. A band of red tape spanned the alley due north and an employee of a drive through food mart spoke with investigators. You don't ever hear sirens at first, then it was rapid fire out of nowhere, a single shot, then seconds later, pop 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 pop, said Dwayne Whittington, 36. Then it sounded like a f group of dashes war at that point, said Whittington, who lives in the area and was walking to a liquor store when he heard the shooting. Check back for details. In other shootings on Thursday, two men were shot dead and four others were wounded during attacks on the west and far south sides. White sheets covered the bodies of the two men as they lay on the ground in the 1400 block of South Springfield Avenue around 4 p.m. One victim suffered a gunshot wound to the head while the other was shot in the chest, police said. They were in their 20s and pronounced dead on the scene after the 3.20 p.m. attack, according to police.
It was the second multiple shooting in the Lawndale neighborhood in five hours, according to police. Around 10.55 a.m., three men were wounded in the 1300 block of South Central Park Avenue, about half a mile from the double shooting, police said. A 30-year-old man was shot in the chin, shoulder and thigh. A 19-year-old man was shot twice in the abdomen. And a male of an unknown age was shot in the right hand, police said. They were all taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where their conditions had stabilized, police said. Two other triple shootings occurred Wednesday night, also on the west side. About 11.30 p.m. in the 1400 block of South Avers Avenue also in Lawndale, a 38-year-old man was shot in the left shoulder and another 38-year-old man was shot in the right arm, police said. A 33-year-old man was shot in the right foot. Their conditions were stabilized at Mount Sinai Hospital. Around 7.35 p.m. Wednesday, in the 4,900 block of West Augusta Boulevard in the Austin neighborhood, three men were in front of a home when the shooter walked up and opened fire, police said. A 37-year-old man was shot in the face and was in serious condition at Strauter Hospital. A 51-year-old man suffered a gunshot wound to the knee and was stabilized at Strauter. A 65-year-old man suffered a graze wound to the abdomen and declined to be taken to a hospital. Additionally, about 5.05 p.m. on the far south side, a 37-year-old man was shot in the face. He was taken to Roseland Hospital where he was listed in stable condition, police said.